up guys, Chris here from Manly Mesh, taking you through the long-awaited Maverick Tactic Review. Thanks so much to Maverick for sending over two of these tactics for us to really throw around with, dig in the dirt, give to the locals to try out. We're able to, to collect a lot of information, a lot of feedback, really interesting new product. This review comes out the day after Greg from East Coast Dies did his review on the Maverick Tactic, and I think what's really interesting about our two reviews is he comes to pretty different conclusions than I do about this head. But I, what I think is really important about that is the most important thing about a head in lacrosse is preference, right? So what might be my favorite head might not be yours. So I think it's important for you to watch both of these and kind of see what you agree with more, what you're looking for in a head. If you want to check out his review, just click right here. I'll also include a link down in the bio. Just cool to have do two different opinions before we get into this. First thing I'll take you through are the very little things, just the aesthetics. Maverick kind of ditched their, their standard, mostly matte with a few gloss accent stylized look with the tactic. Uh, they added a little bit more gloss, some interesting cross hatching things, which to me, I was kind of not bummed by, but I really liked the original look of kind of the centric and the optic. I thought they were clean. I thought they were classy. They tried to spice it up here and there's some things I like, some things I don't, but I'll show you those real quick. The style little thing that I didn't really like as much were these funky little cross hatchings up top. Uh, it's kind of cool. They kind of throw back to the Nike Hirachi cleats and stuff. They're, they're not only on the inside of the scoop, they're also on these X-Rail struts. Um, the, I don't know. I, I just wasn't the biggest fan of that look. But a cool little thing they added was this kind of recessed tactic logo, which is something I'd never seen on a head before. So that was a pretty cool touch. I, I think I would have liked to see them keep their kind of original simple profile and then just add that little tactic touch and that would have been enough for me. So the first thing a lot of you guys think when you see these, this sidewall profile is, is that it, it's a copy of the Maverick Optic. Definitely aesthetically it has that touch. So if we compare these two side by side they look very similar. Have those same kind of three large struts, you know, the third, including this bottom rail. What Maverick did with the tactic is they exposed this throat a little bit more. So it's actually cored down, cored out a little bit more at the throat in order to make up for that cored out profile. They actually lengthened the throat. So if I hold these side to side, you can see that the tactic has a much longer throat. Um, so if for some reason you were a face off guy using the optic, um, I wouldn't try to use the tactic for face-offs. I mean, that's definitely not what it's designed for to begin with, but it also has a very long throat. So you're not gonna be able to get your hand very close to the top of the head. As far as stringing goes, this is where I had my first issue with the tactic. Maverick dropped one sidewall hole on the tactic. So the optic has 17, whereas the tactic has 16. And this is something they've done in the past and other companies have done in the past. But instead of just dropping one up top and keeping everything else in the same location, they essentially took those 16 and spread them out evenly. So the spacing between each sidewall hole is ever so slightly more than the optic is, which kind of throws you off when you're stringing a traditional kind of 17 and a half millimeter mesh like most of those on the market. So I'll mention that a little bit more in a second, but it, it made it a little bit harder to string and it definitely does not string up the same way as your standard Maverick hat. Here I have a tactic strung up with East Coast Eyes Hero Mesh and as you can see on this sidewall pattern it's it's a little chunky and the channel doesn't come out too cleanly. Um, it's just a little bit of an awkward pattern. It throws plenty nice um, and I think if you're used to more simple sidewall patterns if you like kind of a baggier you know a few pull downs a few ones a few twos it's going to treat you just fine. But for me, a type of guy who likes a lot of knotted SIs, a lot of stacked SIs, it just didn't really come in very cleanly with your 17 and a half millimeter mesh. And I don't necessarily think that's a, that's a negative knock on Maverick, but it's something that I think you do have to consider what the constraints of the market are in terms of that the majority of mesh that's, that kids are using these days is that 17 and a half millimeter pro profile. Um, that just is kind of your constraint when designing a head and its sidewall string holes. To illustrate that a little bit better for you guys, I also strung one up with Red Star Mesh. Um, I'll include a link down below for that and I'll have a review out soon enough. But Red Star Mesh is a slightly larger diamond size. So I think it sits more in that kind of 19 millimeter-ish range. Um, but so those diamonds are a little bit longer and because these sidewall holes are spaced a little bit further apart, this type of mesh strings up much much more cleanly. So if you look at this sidewall profile here and the channel and everything, this mesh makes this head 
feel a lot in my opinion a lot better it just strings up more cleanly um, it fits the head really well it throws more cleanly it has more hold so I think I just wanted to show you guys this because it really isn't necessarily a knock on Maverick for having that different sidewall placing um, but I was kind of bummed that I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get my favorite pattern in the world with 17 and a half millimeters so we'll be putting out a pattern video for this later once I really dial something in but I want to take a little bit more time with it and try to figure out what's going to be the best situated pocket for this head. As far as the construction of this head goes, Maverick knocked it out of the park. They're using a slightly new material um, which comes out to be really stiff. They're also using this new X-Rail technology on the sides, which is probably my favorite of this whole SimRail Cortec technology. Um, I thought Cortec usually just increased the flexibility of the head and overall made the head weaker. Maverick did an interesting kind of cord out design on some of their previous heads. But this X-Rail, what it essentially is, is, and you guys have heard a lot about this um, from other media posts, but it's almost like having two, two little sidewall struts hugging each other that are kind of crossing each other in an X motion. Now, I'm not entirely sure if, um, if the, the force of the head is really channeled down through those pillars individually because they are connected by the same material plastic. Um, but it does create an incredibly stiff profile in the vertical component when you're squeezing that strut. Um, and it does really well horizontally as well. Um, I think they concentrated a lot more of the bulk in this head and kind of the lower section, which creates kind of a lower center of gravity as well, which I'll show you in a second with this Maverick Optic. But it, it creates a very light feeling head, although the ball is still sitting in the middle of the pocket. Just going to give you the weight of the tactic and the optic real quick before we get into our next segment. So this is the tactic right here, weighing in at 4.95, five ounces. I think Greg got 5.05, .05, but we'll call it five. And here is the Maverick optic, which is coming in at 4.95. So for all intents and purposes, if we go into grams, just to see what the actual difference is, we got 139 grams on the optic versus 142 so three grams it's less than a quarter you're probably talking about a nickel um, really not much of a difference at all so now I'm going to introduce a slightly different concept here which is the center of gravity of a head or the balance point of a head the lower that this balance point is and how we're defining this is where the plastic is in contact with the table here the lower this point is the lighter the head will actually feel which is something I could go into a lot of detail for but it's kind of like what I talked about with the balance points of the shaft so as we can see, this is the optic here, not the tactic. It's sitting right about, I don't know, two fifths of the way up the head from the throat, almost, almost right in the middle of the head. So that's a slightly lower point than if we're comparing that to something like the uh, String King Mark I. They're, they're about in the same place, but you can see the String King is sitting just a little bit higher. And now if we throw the tactic on the table, we're gonna see it sits much more much lower in the head so actually the, the majority of this weight is concentrated in kind of this lower third of the head here as we can see that point of contact is right about a third of the way up the head maybe two-fifths there and then if I put not the mark one if I put the optic right next to it this isn't a very good visual let me see if I can overlay these in the editing process but you should be able to see that the tactic is sitting a little bit lower than the optic is, which is actually going to give it a slightly lighter feel when you put it on a shaft. The only other item of note about the Maverick tactic is the scoop. Maverick's an interesting company in that they, they say that, you know, they try to build every head from the ground up. And so they're not really just kind of taking a preferred scoop and transferring it from head to head, um, which I think actually can aid in the overall durability of a head. As far as the performance of the scoop, I, I think I was just a little bit disappointed with this one. So it seemed to be a little bit sharp, a little bit flimsier than I would have liked. I'll show you some footage of, of me going down to the turf right now and trying it out. As you can see, it kind of catches here and there. Um, it's not, not anything too bad, uh, but I think I've, I've liked some of their scoops better in the past. And, and I think that's really been my only issue with Maverick heads is Overall, they're great. Overall, they're super durable. They're made in the US, awesome products, but I think they could really just push it a little bit further as far as how clean their scoop is, especially as these other companies start start really pushing that as one of their marketing products, whether it's it's you know the Under Armour Command with the Glide Scoop 
or the STX uh, Hammer 500 with the speed scoop. I think companies are focusing on that more and more, and I think that's just kind of the one remaining area that Maverick could improve upon ever so slightly. Overall, guys, really awesome new product from Maverick. Coming in at 100 bucks, which I think is a little steep, but it's really going to be a product that it's not going to it's not going to fail you. It's a really durable design. It's got a nice mid pocket. I think you're just going to want to really make sure you understand what pocket you want to put into it first. Uh, the ball sits right nice in the middle of the head. But, uh, you know, I would just really make sure you, you know what you're stringing up in it and, and give it some time to find the best pocket. Once you do, I think it's going to be a head that you really love. But the pros and cons to everything, these are my opinions. Uh, once again, thanks so much to Maverick for sending this over. If you want to snag this head unstrung, just head on over to our buddies at Universal Lacrosse. The link's in the bio below. If you want to get your strung by us, head to the link in the bio down below as well. We have these strung on our website. Um, incredible product. I like Maverick. I do. I've got a bit of a crush on them. That's okay. Thanks so much, guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'll catch you guys next time. I will hide by your side, a shadow seek a white gun. Cover up the candlelight, whisper of a feather eye.